be a weekend lover Yeah, I'ma be the best damn lover you got I wanna mess up your covers What you can do The way my hands feel on your body The way we're dancing in the dark With every move I make you're falling The way my lips feel on your body The way we're moving in the dark With every breath we take you're falling I ain't got no time for romance But baby I don't want to lead you on Now I'm looking for something steady not ready for that I'm the best thing that has ever happened to you Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my summer home tour video. I am so sorry that I haven't posted a video and I haven't really been on here. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, then you probably don't know why I've been gone. But my husband actually got back from his deployment about a month ago or so. So we've just been spending time together and kind of getting back into a routine, which is why I haven't had time to upload this video. But that is today's video and what I'm sharing with you before I bring out all of my fall decorations. So let's jump right into it. On the very top of my entryway table, I have a wreath on my mirror, which I got at Target. The candlesticks and the vase are from Hobby Lobby. The welcome sign is also from the Target Dollar Spot about a year and a half ago or so. The table is from Amazon and then the little basket at the bottom is from Ikea. My entryway is also very simple and plain. I just added a wreath to the little house. The hello pillow is from the Target Dollar Spot along with the little brown basket which is kind of our catch-all place when we walk in. In the living room area, all of the pillows on the couch are pillow covers and I will have all of those linked down below in the description box. The home sweet home pillow and the throw and the couch are all from Costco. The rug is from Ross and then on the ottoman I just have a tray with some books and then that like little wooden thing is from Hobby Lobby. It's just like a decoration and I have my coasters on there as well. As soon as my husband got back from his deployment, the first thing he wanted to buy was a new TV for a living room area. The one that we previously had was already in the house when we got it. So this one we got at Costco and it was a very good deal. It's a lot bigger and just a lot more modern. So it definitely fits in our house. But now since this one does come out a little bit more, it does limit the space and kind of with what I can decorate on the mantle now. So I kept it very simple and just added white vases from Hobby Lobby and Ikea on both ends. And then in the middle I added this wooden double that I got at Michael's a few years ago I believe. And then the green greenery balls are from Hobby Lobby. Now for the dining room area, I'm going to share with you my hutch. So at the very top, I have mostly all of the birdhouses that I do own. So I just have those laid out on the top. It's taken me a really long time to actually get this many birdhouses. I started collecting back in the year 2017. So it's definitely been three years, but I love all of the birdhouses up there. And then for the inside of my hutch, I pretty much have all of my basics in here, 
with some wood tones and some greenery and I always love the look of just basics with white. I just love how bright it looks and then adding of course touches of either wood tones and greenery. That is something that I always go to when I'm stuck and I don't know how to decorate but I just love looking at this every single morning. If you follow my videos, you know that usually my dining room table centerpiece always stays the same with just a vase and some greenery, but my mug rack and the coffee bar is something that always changes. Of course, to have my mug rack match with my hatch and the rest of my house, I added some wood tones in here with the same greenery. The sign is from Hobby Lobby. All of my mugs are from Ray Dunn. The mug rack is from Kirkland's. I added a little basket to the left side, which I got at the Target Dollar Spot, I believe last year, with some more Ray Dunn and some wooden spoons and then some cutting boards. And then I have my coffee and tea sh and sugar canisters sitting on this stand that I got at Hobby Lobby last year also. And then this dish towel is also from there. Here's an overlook of how I have my coffee bar shelves decorated in my kitchen. At the very top, I have a coffee sign which I got from a girl that made it for me here locally to me. And then I have the same white pitcher which is greenery, my creamer, the little wooden box is from Target Dollar Spot and I keep like all of our tea bags in there, the ones that we don't use as much. And then I have my oats and granola canister, my pour pitcher, another creamer, just little items like that that kind of look cute on the shelves but are also functional. Like I do use my oats and granola canister every morning for when I make breakfast and things like that. So these things are also useful, but they're also cute and functional. The cream and sugar sign is from Hobby Lobby. And then down here, I have my toaster and then some stir sticks in that glass container. By my stove area, I like to keep this space very clean and only have out the things that I do use every single day. So in my tools crock, I have a lot of wooden spoons, which I use all the time to cook. The cutting boards are from the Target Dollar Spot. I have my salt and pepper inside of my Ray Dunn cellars. And then inside of this oink piggy, I do have some chocolate chip cookies in there. On my stove racks, I just have a white dish on there. And then my bread box is something that I always use to store our bread in. And then this dish towel is from Burlington. And then for the centerpiece in my bar area, I just added a simple tear tray with just some everyday decor that I already had. So the tear tray is from the Target Dollar Spa, I believe back in last year's fall time. The cutting board is from Hobby Lobby. The sign, I actually had my sister make it for me. And then the little picture is from Ikea. And then the measuring cups are right done. And beside that, I have the Lacey Susan that is out right now at the Target Dollar Spa. Some salt and pepper shakers and some napkins. The napkin holder is from Hobby Lobby. And I love having this right here because we always eat at the bar area. We never really use our dining room table unless we have guests over. So I really love having the salt and pepper and napkins available when we are eating. That's gonna be all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up if you did. Also make sure to turn on the little notification bell. That way you are aware and notified every single time I do post. I am gonna be starting to bring out my fall videos soon. So let me know down below what kind of videos you guys wanna see. That way I can film them for you and have them out with you on time. Thank you so much for watching today's video and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye guys.